okay so in order to have the unit testing you used to have the test tool basically suppose this is the test tool so what are the inputs that we need so one is that we need a test script other one is the implementation of the source code so what is the output that we can expect from the test tool the unit test tool test report it will generate the report and automation if we have with the tool we use the coverage report also it will give how much percentage percentage and all that basically this is an optional we can do it manually also but test tool requires this test script and source code test script is something like the inputs that are required and the value it drives and the test tool takes that and automates and generate the reports that's how it is getting used test scripts are basically derived from the plan so it consists of a testers inputs as the parameters and expected results of all be there in the test script the script is processed by the tool and converted into a driver basically driving the source basically so in a tool like rtrt the name it is called as a ptu uh, the driver name similarly ldra uses its own uh, format test report is the results of the test execution whether it is passed or failed coverage report is the how much of total source code have been covered by all the test cases that's what it does actually okay okay so we will try to understand the tool what it does and go through some videos in terms of demonstration so that we'll understand what it is okay so first we'll go through the automated unit testing generation and management okay so we will uh, try to understand uh, the tool called earlier array unit basically uh, this is the tool from earlier array and uh, uh, the version 9.4.1 so basically we use it for new testing and the source code uh, we will try to understand uh, what it uh, does so this is a window where we have a ldr unit unit explorer so we'll try to explore the some of the testing aspects of this ldr unit so there is a c code selected with this ldr a here we have got a file called cache register dot c so we want to do some unit testing for this cache register dot c it's a c file so you can see the file contents it explores basically you can see there are number of functions like add product count products end session etc you can see it here okay uh, so uh, any function you want to test it alone uh, like uh, add product so you can see uh, the parameters it has the variables that it uses and whatever the function it calls is all listed here in this ldr unit tool it explores basically all these uh, uh, individual functions of this uh, cache register file you can see the structure passed as a parameter 
and uh, it is calling tester show tester show uh, and s printer three functions it is uh, calling basically okay okay so let's start to see how uh, sequence is created in this tool uh, we need to select the sequence and uh, we can call it as a unit uh, test uh, add product something like this you can add as a sequence and uh, we are trying to do a code coverage for that particular uh, function with this sequence we have to select that uh, code coverage option then uh, test environment uh, something like setup about uh, steps uh, it should create right because it has a number of functions if you want to call directly the functions it is available you can use it and if you do not want you can create these steps for those colors. So we can select that uh, automatically create the steps with that option and uh, user variables can be global if it is missing we can create it generate it and uh, different types of test scenarios we can have it here uh, first option is allowing the compiler to compile all the code as a normal one or the next one is create tests for a subset of code in the source file uh, the specific usage because we are interested to do this, this only we can do this or isolate fully all code elements. We can do this second option just to create that particular single source file so that we this option is selected okay okay so once you select the procedures it will show uh, that particular procedure and you can see the procedure name and the functions and the other details it will display we can say okay and we can continue. So it does a basic analysis of this option. So here, uh, what's going to happen is uh, you can see the option here, the variable uh, view, and the calls view with this option, and uh, any stubs that it has created, it will show here. Is this stub? Tester show number of calls is two. It's a managed stub. So here we go to the function and we'll right click and create a test case for that particular function now. And it is doing a instrumentation with this, and you can see. It is about to create a test case based upon the interface, whatever it is displaying below. Okay. So, here a test case generation is uh, it could be uh, standard single test case or repetitions like uh, multiple times you are going to execute with different things. Uh, the last one is reported here iterations because sometimes what will happen is we want to see the consistency we can have it something like a robustness sorry regression so in that case we can have repetitions and iterations etc or some ranges we can have it uh, simulated by applying a rate value so we just try to go with a single test case the use the continue uh, with that <coughs> Here you can see the input output view. So there are two inputs for this function. There is a structure. There is a value unsigned 32 bit structure, and the output is expected as unsigned 32 bit. So we can click this value input and enter it. We will enter at zero. Then the next one we can enter it as 42. And the output we can expected put as 42. It's an example. Now we'll try to run this. Uh, this one you can see the uh, generated uh, test case and the result. You can see here 
value for storage that means the function is going to use this and uh, the pass field is there based on the expected value versus actual value. So the harness is generated with this and it has executed and showing the result. So say ok then uh, we can generate again if you want with uh, multiple inputs like 42 if you want to change it to 50 based on your functions or uh, the inputs for the functions uh, of course the input for the functions is based on the specification of the requirement so that uh, we will get the appropriate coverage where uh, multiple statements within the function is being triggered. And you can see here uh, the coverage, statement coverage, the branch decision coverage. The current one is six percent. Combined is uh, combined MCD is six percent. Current is six percent for branch or decision. For that particular uh, uh, file, entire file, and that function, you can see statement coverage is sixty-one percent. It has hit, and the branch is sixty uh, percent. We can try it a second time. Second time again, uh, it should say as it was uh, there. So it's a regression. You can see that as a regression pass or fail shows, and there's no change in the percentage there. So the values are same. It has passed. Then the coverage. You will take to look in particular with the uh, there is a flow graph of the coverage of that particular function. This is interesting. We will see. You can look at the flow graph, see this here. This flow graph basically saying that executed two times, this block executed two times, all statements are covered in this block. There are uh, six blocks, and it is taking the this path after this fourth and sixth. So basically there are four blocks that it could execute appropriately and two blocks three and five are not executed that is showing in the red. On the right hand side you can see that red marked one which is not executed because it is part of the else portion and it is not executed. So it has passed this one. The portion that is not executed it is showing in the red one. These statements hit not executed because the value that we have given is not enough to execute this. The fifth block is the last one, tester show basket full, something like that. So, this is useful to see the flow graph with the coverage. So, and generate the test cases. More cases, so you can see it is adding two, three, four, five, another five, uh, four cases automatically, and uh, it will add up all that uh, test cases and generate the. Now, with that, let us see what it has generated. You can see uh, these additional four cases automatically, it has generated. Showing the percentage with these four cases all together is that 100 percent for that particular function, and for the particular three, four, you can see the values it has automatically used based on the inputs that it takes. So, you can see in the fourth case, unsigned there is an address passed for the structure first input. The second input is a global variable having the value as 50 and the result you can see is as statement coverage as 100 percent and 100 percent branch it is covered. So, so quick overview of this you can see that is the area unit thing still we are not covered 100 percent of the uh, entire file 
C file because we are focused only on that particular function of the file. So that is how the LDRA is being used. Further information we can look into LDRA.com and uh, uh, there is a evaluation version probably you can download and experiment more embedded software testing the aspects. So that is about the earlier unit, uh, how automate uh, unit test generation is done with the help of which uh, we can see the percentage and automatic uh, unit test generation it does. The next uh, type of uh, LDRA unit it is called the coverage which also gives the complete coverage uh, of the source code and the structural power analysis which is very important for uh, embedded software industry such as uh, automotive and uh, uh, aerospace let us try to understand that also uh, let us try to play, play a demo uh, video for that uh, LDRA cover and try to understand this is called a LDRA test bed with a tool suit it is integrated together so the code coverage uh, will try to understand so here you can see an Example of a project for a keel trace 32 it is an arm based target board here we will try to simulate because we do not have a target board actually connected to this tool and with that we will try to have the coverage executed. So it is an arm CPU based C file so it is called as a TB vision. LDRA. The files that are in the project displayed here main.c, base.c, simple files are there. So we will execute the code on the target. Here we do not have a target, we can use the simulator, we use it instead of the target because due to that replacement of the target. So there is a button uh, we have to press that uh, it is going to compile this and add the instrument uh, the source code for the target port and it is going to build so there is a compiler it has inbuilt it is called a Kale compiler you can see for the LDR test bed it is integrated you can see it is running for that particular place 32 simulator right so what it is trying to do is as soon as the simulator is triggered it is trying to stream the message onto the simulator continuously and captures the uploaded value we can stop at some stage we can halt with this option and we can upload the result with this button. The uploaded execution history can be seen here. You can see it is doing the process of that. And we can have a look at what coverage that is. Generate. We can see the test manager report for this. So you see there is a report for the same. You can see the code review, different types of reviews it does. What we have done here is a test verification, the dynamic report, and you can see and a file that we have tried to execute main dot c and dice dot c and is showing the coverage of statements branches and HVC which you have chosen as an option you can see the percentage where it is 100 percent is showing in the green whereas others are shown as red because the coverage is not 100 percent. Let us try to go inside the 
particular uh, file such as main.c you can see the main.c uh, report in particular it is showing the result in red because the coverage is not attained whatever the obtained value is not having 100 percent coverage because it is 84 percent blank decision is 67 and CDC is 25 percent that is why it is not diversity compliant why it is not compliant let us try to understand you can scroll down and see uh, the main dot C has several functions several procedures such as integer to ASCII display value etc and main itself uh, two Type of uh, tests like statement and branch are no issues because one hundred percent coverage is there. Whereas the inbuilt uh, integer to ASCII library or the, the function has only seventy nine percent. And the coverage that we obtained is for this particular uh, integer to ASCII is statement is seventy nine, branch is fifty eight percentage. And you can see that particular function ASCII uh, to integer, and you can see the last two three runs, current run, previous run, and the combined run. How many times it has run with our simulator, and it will show the uh, the calls, number of calls. What are the statements that are being called, and how, how many decisions it is able to drive together. With the every line of the code, it is showing. So you can see the stars which are not at all executed, showing us zero times because the values that it requires has not attained. So some of the lines we have executed more than the earlier ones, like. 700 plus times it has executed some of them executed 114 times so likewise okay so that's how we can see the report so one more approach is also there you can delete all the results we can Change the instrumentation technique uh, with other option. Uh, this uh, analysis we can do it and uh, generate instrumented programs automatically. With this, we can configure uh, instrument the code. We can uh, compress the execution. Uh, we can compress into a structure. We can start the analysis of this selected automated instrumentation. Let us see. And uh, again, we can say run on the target. Uh, this uh, instrumented code, uh, it is simply captured all the iterations and uh, in the structure is going to populate all the analysis now we can upload the execution history we can analyze the code it has built already Okay, let us halt uh, the current running execution of that instrumented code and uh, we'll see what is the result of this. Now we are analyzing the files. So let's 
selected project view the test manager report and see what is the report shows now we can see main dot c how many times we have executed a integer to ascii every line of code how many times now you can see here one time executed these lines lines of code here with the instrumentation we haven't executed this again because we want to have a coverage we can see the code overview with that option you can see there is several uh, overview we know that entire uh, project has uh, uh, showing as failed because it is short by 40% uh, in terms of uh, the statement and the brandition is 68 and if you are not able to cover with instrumented or instrumented then that 40% or uh, 32% of brandition we need to do manually or some way of doing it with the other approaches that is what we need to do for the LDR A tool ok ok so basically what we need to do is for coverage testing so we need to have a source we need to have a script and appropriate selection to the LDR A tool and execute it and uh, we need to establish the coverage with the coverage tool then the structural coverage analysis for the entire project like this and generate, generate uh, the different metrics in terms of statement decision coverage and report the entire set this is what uh, we have done in the earlier demo we have stubbed a function and create the unit testing bar with the help of LDR unit test tool ok. So with that uh, we will uh, end uh, today's session uh, on the practical thing about XS3. In the next uh, practical session we will take up the next uh, uh, one and uh, uh, demonstrate the uh, next uh, practical uh, demonstration. Okay.